Right, so we have to make sure that when we're doing our footwork drills, that our body is staying connected. One of the hardest things to do as a catcher is to be patient, right? Because we're catching in the game, we hear or see the runner going, our adrenaline starts to speed up, and we try to be super fast, right? There's a fine line between being too fast and right where you need to be, okay? If you're being too fast, what that tells me is that you're trying to go out to get it. So when you try to go out to get the ball, now my body weight starts to shift forward early, and now I end up throwing that ball all on. And that's usually when you see your ball start to run towards the second baseman or get that ball in the front row. So at the end of the day, if the pitcher doesn't give you a chance, you got no chance. Right? You can't be faster to make up for the pitcher's inefficiency. Does that make sense? It's, you guys, it's a team, right? You guys have to coexist together. Meaning that the pitcher has to be able to keep the runner close and give you a chance. So as a catcher, I can't emphasize this enough, is that you have to stay within yourself and make a mistake. If you try to be too fast, you try to throw it too hard, and your rhythm is out of sync, there's a good chance that ball is going to go flying somewhere. And then it looks like it's your ball. Right? If you make a come up, make a good clean throw, you throw that ball right to the bag, and you got to save, that's not on you. Right? So we have to make sure that we're patient, letting that ball get into our body, and then we transfer in our body. We're not trying to get it out of our body, and then into our body. Right? Pop time starts as soon as that ball hits the ball. So if I'm catching the ball way out here, I'm slowing my pop time down. I don't want to let the ball get into my body. So I got to let it get into my happy zone. Right? Let that ball get in. So now as I transfer, it's nice and quick to my ear. Right, so when we're doing these drills and you know, things are getting out of, out of whack, it's usually because our body starts to lean. Right? I am moving forward, but my weight is still staying back. <coughs> if you sh right, so when we keep going through these drills, as we start to go into our transfers, right, make sure that weight is staying back, and then eventually when we get to our throws, 